Um, one of the most important things to all of us are our children's education. And in the year 2001, the federal government passed the No Child Left Behind legislation. And as you can see, <coughs> as you can see, uh, it's pretty thick. Uh, they kept saying Johnny couldn't read, so they decided to give each state a minimum of $100 million to an, operate a program. <laughs> Problem is, is the program really didn't work. They told us we'd be more accountable. They told us they'd give a report card to our schools. They told us our students could read. Our children would be better off. Problem was, is now the teachers, the teachers are now taking tests. They're giving our children tests to give a report card for the school to say, we're doing better. Problem is, is they're teaching just to the report cards and not necessarily teaching to our children. <coughs> In the old days, the federal government gave funding to lower the size of the classrooms to 23 to the lower, uh, lower levels. Now, if you look at the contracts of most of the uh, schools in the Yellow Valley, the teacher's contracts say 35 students. <laughs> so the No Child Left Behind with at least a minimum of $100 million, which is coming to our state, is resulting in the problem of we're still not reading. Johnny can't read. Not only can Johnny not read, but Susie and Tommy and the rest of them aren't reading. Teachers are teaching to the lowest common denominator, what is the least. Now, what is even worse is in the state budget that Jerry Brown just vetoed. <laughs> it says, uh, and keep in mind, we stated that we passed uh, a resolution that if the budget isn't passed, the legislatures don't get their paycheck. So what they did is they passed a budget, but on such areas as education, they said, <coughs> we will later determine what the budget for education is going to be. So they passed a budget for the things they thought was important and left out the things we think are important, such as the education for our children. Instead of no child left behind, what we really should be doing is each child to their own individual needs and abilities. Once we do that, once we lower the size of the classroom, once we put in more school teachers, then Susie and Tommy will read. Johnny may never read, but he'll be in a better company with kids that can. Thank you.